What is up guys, Captain Ross here, East Town Aquatics, and I am here with an unboxing and review of the Quiet Flow 75. I guess it's an LED Pro too, but anyway, so let's just start off this review with a price tag. So I got this, I actually got two of them on Black Friday of last year, which will be about a year ago, for $23 on Black Friday. Now normally it's around $30, $40 or more depending on where you are but 20 bucks I could not just let that sit without buying it of course I had to pick them up so I got two of them I only needed one but right now uh, my Marineland Penguin 350 uh, kind of pooped out on me it has a couple times but this time it was like finally quit working so I'm like okay I'm gonna bust out the old quiet flow or new quiet flow and see how this thing works so I have one on the tank already right here I have it I'm doing a water change right now and I wanted to be able to show you guys the flow so doing very well I've customized the inside myself and I'll be showing you how I did that in a bit but let's just unbox this thing and show you what it is straight out of the box and I'll show you what I do to it so it says for up to 90 gallons uh, with 400 gallons per hour so I work I use it on a 55 I personally like to use two on a 55, two big filters on a 55 gallon. That way you can get great overfiltration and have more fish. So right here, it shows you the little filtration system. I'll show you. So essentially what it does, you got your cartridge and then you have this bio thing and then as it flows out, there's another little bio um, thing that like has lots of pores and stuff that stores the beneficial bacteria. So just lots of different places for it to filter it doesn't just have like a simple cartridge inside so it is is it has these little blue things blue bio yeah these little bio holster things and that's where you slide in the cartridges which I've never bought the cartridges I always just set it up my own way and I'll show you that in a bit then they have their specialty filter pads that you have of course have to buy more of and they end up falling apart which I'll tell you about that in a bit and then um, another bio little bio cartridge thing right here that slides on in and I'll show you that too it also keeps it quiet if it's close to the tank um, that'll make it so it doesn't all just all the water doesn't just fly out and make a big long big splash it'll just let it trickle out um, right now you're hearing a splash because you know the water is really low in the tank because of the water change so my favorite thing about these is the auto start pump right here so that makes it as long as there's water there up at that line it's going to automatically prime no needing to fill up the back or anything and it will not unprime until the water goes below the intake down here so that's why it's still going right now anyway we're done with the package let's rip this thing open and see what we got so let's see how this thing I've already got one on there, so I'll show you how I set that one up. Um, the LED thing, I think it's just a gimmick. I've never been able to get it to work. It's never come on for me, but I don't know, just some little thing. I feel like these have gotten cheaper over the years, because I had Quiet Flow in the past that was better, but it was also more expensive, so, you know, this is what you get for a cheap filter. So let's take a look. So right off the bat, you can see, this is a little bio grate, so what it does is it can... If you do this, the water just flies out like in a big old waterfall looking thing, right? But if you throw this on, it'll catch bacteria and generally algae and stuff. But if you throw java moss on it, the java moss will grow on here. So that's a little trick I've done. So what it does is the water will trickle through this part, collect beneficial bacteria and stuff, and then flow out through those specialty pads. Now my specialty pads ripped apart immediately like after being in there not long they get really gross and then look they'll rip apart so fast see that yeah so it's not really worth replacing I don't think because you gotta pay money to get new ones and I did not feel like doing that so I just didn't use it but it works the same without them in my opinion here's your little LED thing I've never had that work for me but you pull it out And what you do is you just pull that off. And 
And then you can slide these in. Yeah, but I don't even, I'm not even going to mess with that because it didn't work on the, on the first time. So right here are your little cartridges. They'll slide right in and out. But of course, before you set this up, you're going to want to rinse these out. So I won't actually set it up in the video. But I'll just show you here on the table and then show you the one I already have set up. So yeah, you take this and this. You can slide them right in. Which I'll just put other things inside. I'll show you in a minute. So yeah, the inside is very roomy. There's a lot of room to put other things. I've got two parts here. This part you can put stuff in. This part you can put stuff in. And then it comes with this little nice little thing that just keeps it from overflowing here. So you shove that on right there. And that will make the water not go all over the place. So yeah, that is the filter here. I'll show you what I have set up currently on my tank. Let me slide this up higher. Gotta adjust the tripod. Okay. So here's mine. I have a light set up so you can see. So what I do is I got some bio balls over here. And I will move, I'm going to move this to catch debris. Real quick. But, so what I do is I'll take filter floss and stuff and I'll stick it right in here, which I'll add some in a minute. And right here I put in some bio balls up top. So you can slide in whatever you want, just use those blue parts to hold everything in place is my little tip. So I'll take polyfill, which is like the cheap filter floss. You can get it like anywhere. I get it at Walmart. Get some polyfill like this. Use this blue thing to hold it into place and just shove it in. And look, now you got your own little cartridge thing. Yeah, you don't have carbon, but it's okay because you have it's okay because carbon isn't always needed. Um, it's good when starting up a tank a lot of times and it's good when you're trying to get rid of medication and stuff and like if your tank's really cloudy you can throw in some carbon but I don't use it. I use biological and um, mechanical. Yeah, I don't use chemical. So yeah, that's essentially this video. That is the Quiet Flow 75. I call it the LED Pro but the LED doesn't even work for me. So in short, if you want a cheap filter that's going to do its job, get it. 20 bucks on Black Friday. Literally, I don't know any better deal. Like, that's pretty insane. And I actually prefer them over a lot of things. Of course, AquaClear is my favorite filter. Um, but it's a lot more expensive. So quiet flows will do for me. And they're actually really quiet when the water's up at the normal level. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit me up on uh, Facebook at East Down Aquatics. Uh, or just check out my YouTube channel, East Down Aquatics on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.